Hello and welcome back to a new sketch and principle tutorial on this channel. I am Max and today we are going to animate this content area right here with this not really like horizontal cut. We will animate this whole UI and we are going to do it in principle. So let's just open up principle and in principle we are going to import the user interface that we just saw in Sketch by clicking the import button right there. You have to have it open up in Sketch and it will just merge everything into principle. Now, as I said, we want to animate the content area and we are going to work with drivers. So what we are going to do now is to open up drivers we now see that we have a drivers panel right here and we are going to select the content folder and we say we want to scroll vertically. You see that it's now changing and what we are going to do in this small tutorial is to change the behavior of this background photo while dragging the user interface or basically the content area from the bottom to the top, like a normal scrolling. And what we are going to do is to select the picture and to just click this little keyframe right here and we are going to select scale. We could also just say we tick this right here, this uh, lock feature and we select for example the height or the width, but we simply go for scale and we say we want the scale uh, to have like a maximum at, for example, this position, for example, right there. You simply click this keyframe again. So now you have this timeline and we can now just grab this right here and scale it up like this. You will see now in this animation panel on the right side that once we scroll and once we have more text at the bottom, which I'm going to do right now, so imagine we just have more text available. So we simply copy this uh, text layer and we just position it below our actual layer like that course we can also say we want it to be like that and you will see once we scroll that we have this expanding background photo you see once we scroll up we get this nice little animation at the top of course we could also do different things we can do some fun things like saying we wanted to turn around. Now then let's just jump back to the start to the start at zero and then we just hit this picture uh, like keyframe again and we can say we want to turn it around with the angle feature. Then we simply move to our last keyframe and again we hit this and we can turn it around as we want. Now this will of course look kind of strange, but as I said, I just want to show you what's possible with these features, with these keyframes, these drivers, and of course the animation when scrolling. And of course in many apps you want to have a scroll feature. We can also just uh, get rid of this angle and we can say we want to change the uh, opacity for example. So what we are going to do is to jump back to our first keyframe and we select opacity. Jump to the last one and say yes this is our timeline for the opacity and for example let's change it to around 43 percent and once we scroll up you will see that we have a liner uh, function or feature with a changing opacity like that. 
you can do all kind of other things. You can simply select um, just one of these right here. We can also of course say we would like to have these two icons that we have and we would like to make them invisible. That's of course also possible. So simply select one of them, select the opacity, turn it around to at the point where it starts crossing each other. Around right, yeah, it's probably also around there. Just click opacity again and say we would like, oops, no, not of the picture, but we would like to have a opacity of 0%. Of course, let's do the same with the hamburger menu. Let's also select opacity, go back to the last keyframe and select it. And then simply go to 0% opacity. Let's delete the opacity of the picture so we can see it a little bit better. Like this. So we have to say opacity is 100%. And right now, when we scroll up, you see that these icons are getting invisible. Now that's exactly what we wanted. We have this like content area right here with this cut and we want them to be invisible and the background photo is like expanding in a way that looks nice. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this small tutorial. If you enjoyed it, just hit the thumb up button or subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your time and enjoy your week. See you!